Hey guys, today I'm playing some more City Skylines Mass Transit, and uh, well, we got we got stuff to do. I've had a lot of suggestions, such as build a poor people pit, um, like a pit with poor people in it. But I don't really need that right now. Um, but yeah, maybe it, maybe at some point I'll build a poor people pit because I'm just all kinds of evil. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Oh god! <laughs> all right. But we probably do need more poor people. I mean, we always need more poor people. They're great. They're the lifeblood of um, Canville. Um, airport seems to be doing well. That's five people and then one person leaving. Not a lot of people leaving. I like to see that. Uh, we got an ore industry. That's what we were doing last time. Right, yeah. We were building building ore. Building places to get ore. Yeah. Um, and apparently we need more industry. So, I mean, I might as well just expand this and actually... Where are the resources? I wish I could keep this overlay up while building roads. That would be super fucking useful. Uh, I guess just sort of all over here. So I'm going to start building roads like this. And then we can actually put it on in a logical way. Because it can't all just be a long one road. Well, I guess it could. But that wouldn't... That would be weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright. Um, these camera controls feel so weird today. I don't really know why. Maybe I've up my sensitivity to be a pro gamer. Um, although, saying that, I actually do have a mouse with uh, the buttons where you can change the sensitivity. But it's so useful when you're like sniping people and you're like, oh, my mouse is moving too quickly. Um, you just, you just fucking, you just fucking press a button and it, and it gets slower and it's like, oh shit, yeah, dog. <laughs> All right, I gotta get this, gotta get this right. Gotta, you maximize space usage. Well, maximize space efficiency. Space usage efficiency. Minimize space usage, basically, is what I was going for. Um, yeah, let's just put in a huge chunk of that. Hope that everything's good. And the districts. Yeah, massive. It's all ore. Ore for days. Um, I guess... Yeah, poor people in town. They'll be able to get to work. It's a short drive. Um, oh, I said I was going to fix the buses last time, didn't I? I was going to do it off off video, but I didn't do that because I forgot. Well, maybe I'll do a bit today, just get it basically working. Um, but I'm not going to go crazy doing it because I just get frustrated and that's probably not that fun to watch. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll have uh, put in a basic bus thing though, just so people can sort of get places like work. Um, yeah. And then, ooh, if we're going around this way, I might as well add a stop here, and then it makes it way more useful. Um, add a stop, and add a s oh, fuck you, no. And then add a stop there as well. So that you can get off a bus, get on a different bus, go to work. It'll be great. And I'll put a bus around uh, West Poor People Town. Although now I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about it, this is more like East Poor People Town. Um, but it's fine. You know, we, we don't need to worry about these things too much. Alright. And then we gotta stop there and there and there we go. Alright, cool. That's some basic bossage. But because I did this last time, um kinda messed up some of the buses. But the buses look mostly good. There are still buses places, so I'm gonna call that a win. There's a whole bunch of public transport. I mean let's see how many people are using public transport. Um yeah, yeah, Florham. Um, where is it? Where's the but? It's here. Two thousand people on tr on buses. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Seven hundred on trains. Twenty-five on. Twenty-seven on. What's this? Oh, that's monorail. I guess that's train. Oh, I guess I don't need both. Wait, is this monorail? I don't know. What the fuck is this? What? What is this? Monorail. Okay. So this is metro, that's train, okay, that's buses, okay, I was a little confused. Uh, how's traffic? My favorite thing to deal with, because we built this whole new thing last time. And, traffic is moving better. I have to say, I mean, I'm still not super jazzed about these traffic lights, but it seems to be slowly fixing itself. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not backing up that much. It's backing up quite a bit here, but... Ah, this is flowing quite nicely. There's too many junctions here, I reckon. Maybe I should get rid of one of them. Maybe this one, because... 
Not that many people use it, it's just making people stop for no reason. Yeah, you know what, I am going to get rid of that. Maybe link it up with some other roads. Um, so if we do this, and then this, and then make sure this is all still filled in. We good? You're going to destroy those houses for no reason? Probably. And then we'll put some like linking roads in here to make it better. We good? One less intersection. Oh no, there's still an intersection there though, so I'm going to have to get rid of this one as well. Um, otherwise it's all for nothing. Um, there we go. And then that and that. And there's a bus stop here for some reason. I think it probably linked all of this. Well, I'll just throw some, some of that back in. It doesn't take too long if you're just doing one. Oh, this pop-up keeps uh, popping up on my fucking computer. I, got, I have Backblaze, right? This The uh, backup service. Um, that you've probably heard about it on many podcasts. Um, what the shit, Dom? Oh, I can't go down there. Yeah, because I fucked up the road system. Anyway, yeah, so I have Backblaze because I back up my data automatically because you got to back your shit up. Um, anyway, but annoyingly... When I reinstalled my operating system, it was like, oh, this isn't the same computer. I was like, okay, well, just inherit the backup. And it was like, no. And I was like, okay. And then now it keeps popping up being like, whoa, your free trial's over, bro. And it's like, it's not a free trial. This is the same computer. You asshole. Um, I hope I never get sponsored by Backblaze now because I've said some mean stuff about them. But it's so annoying because it keeps popping up. And it doesn't just like pop up in the background being like, oh, hey, buddy. It pops up on the fucking over thing. So I'm watching TV, sitting on my sofa, like, back away from the computer. And it's like, oh, hey, motherfucker. And then I have to get up and turn it off. Or I'm playing, like, Day of Infamy or something. You know, I'm shooting Nazis or Americans, depending on <laughs> who I'm playing as. And then, uh, and then the fucking thing pops up. And it's like, Yo! And I'm like, whoa, I was just about to shoot that guy, you asshole! Um, so yeah, as much as good as Backblaze is, it is super fucking annoying sometimes. Um, oh, you don't have water. Fuck. God, it's so difficult. This, it is so hard to run an entire city. I think I've said this before about this game, but I think people should just play this game and be like, wow, this is a fairly simple simulation. I don't even have to deal with people's, like, requests and problems, but my god is it impossible to run an entire city. How does the president do it? Well, I guess he has people to help him. They should do multiplayer, so someone... Oh, they should so do multiplayer. So I could have a transport secretary and a fucking housing secretary, a, a, a chief of poor people town. Um, that'd be fantastic. Huh, I wonder if that'd be possible to, like, mod in. I'm not much of a modder, but if you are, tell me. And then make it, and then I probably might use it. Um, I could get Lance, Lance in, because he was saying, uh, the guy who makes our, um, our turrets for, our tank turrets for Fall of Curb, and he was saying, he should get in here, because I talk about American politics so much. Um, and he's American, so. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I need more shops still. Well, you have shops. Just build them and stop complaining at me. Oh, that wasn't enough shops? Well, fuck you, dick. Um, Alright. I've got all this land now. Oh, you know what I never did? I never got the cathedral. I was like, I really want this cathedral, and then I forgot about it. Can I get it now? Because I probably still have to place all the stuff, but... Where is the cathedral? Give it... I want it. Oh, it's here. 24 service buildings. That probably means I need to build an international airport, but still. Um, we're gonna try and just put down all the shit that we haven't got, because um, I only need six more at this point. So I think, yeah, let's try it. So uh, we have wind turbines, don't we? I don't think we have the normal ones anymore, so I'll put down one of them. So what I've got to do is build all these buildings, and I'll just delete them after. Um, I think I have a coal plant, maybe not. Um, I don't even know if that counts as a service building. I don't have a nuclear plant. Nuclear? Yeah, people are always like, oh, nuclear. It's like, fuck you, buddy. Uh, okay, those apparently don't count as service buildings because they're power buildings? Okay. Um, I'm going to put down a water tower anyway because I might... Does that, does that count? It does. Okay, so I do need a nuclear power plant. Um... 
That's very expensive, but I really want this cathedral and I have tons of money, so it's fine. And I should probably just get a nuclear power plant, because they're just the most efficient way of generating power in this game. Well, money efficient, I think. Um, that's 28! Okay, what else do I need? I need... Um, oh, I, I have all of these. Have all of these, have all of these. Oh, damn. Uh, maybe it's more power stuff. What don't I have? I have an oil plant. I, oh, I don't have a dam. Um, throw a dam in there. Be real careful. Is that... 48 still? Oh, son of a bitch. Um, what don't I have? Dickhead. Uh, maybe... Oh, maybe it is International Airport. Oh, maybe it's other transport stuff? Like, I don't have... Cable car stop. Yeah. Does that count? It doesn't. Fuck. You're so indecisive. So many things count and so many things don't. Uh, I have all the... Oh. Yeah, I have all the boats and the things. Hmm. What else counts? I bet International Airport counts. Okay, so it's International Airport, I reckon. Um, so we'll have to do this when I get my next city upgrade, which might take a while. One day, I will get that cathedral. Um, in only 10,000 people. And then I get all the land as well, so that'll be some good shit. So I need more people, preferably more poor people. Because poor people work in the places. How are you doing on education? Ooh, a bit well. No one's going to uni, though. That's good, it's good. Don't want to go there and get fucking, you know, you, you don't need that shit, you know, it's just, you, they're gonna pollute your mind with a bunch of complex thought and you really just don't need it, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, just work for cheap and everything's good. You really don't, you don't want that shit. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm on my last, well, going into my last year of uni, so I'll be almost done. And then I'll have to get a job, and it'll suck. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. More shops, I think? No, I reckon jobs will actually be fun. I don't know why. I thought it... Ooh. What? Why am I seeing all this weird overlay? This is new. Is it? Maybe I just don't pay attention. That's also probably true. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, and school started again. Um, not for me. You, my uni doesn't start until the 25th, so I still got time. Fuck yeah. Because that's the best thing about uni, is just, like, ridiculously long summers. Like, just almost too long. Like, I, I do want to go back to uni now, because I just... There's no structure in my life. I'm falling apart. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but no, school started. And I live right next to a fucking school. Um, it's really annoying, because first year... I lived next to like a fucking preschool, preschool, so they were always loud as hell, um, which is super annoying, you know, in the morning, and then now I live right next to a fucking high school, which sucks, because it's high school kids, so like, you know, I know I was very recently a high school kid, but somehow now I'm scared of high school kids, but uh, I don't know, because like, who knows, man, you know, do they have guns? Uh, pff, probably not, but you never know. Actually, I read a story um, yesterday about a kid. This isn't funny. This is actually just kind of sad, but whatever. Um, but it made me think of it. Um, but this kid who, uh, he, he was in Britain, actually. He, he brought in a shotgun and, like, 200 rounds with the intention... Because he, he, I think he was depressed and had anxiety and it must have been really bad. Um, and, yeah, he brought in a gun and a bunch of rounds to, with the intention of, I guess, just killing a lot of people. Um, for whatever reason, and, and, and yeah, but then he, he backed out of it, and like, the 999 operators, the police people you get when you call the police, they like, managed to talk him down, and it was like, holy shit, that's so, that's, yeah, and he didn't shoot anyone, he, he's gone to prison now, because I guess that's probably the best thing, I mean, obviously therapy, hopefully also, but yeah, it was like, oh, wow, but it just got me things like, you never think about that kind of stuff happening in Britain. You hear about it a lot in America, especially recently, um, these mass shootings. But, like, one almost happened in a school in Britain. Man, that would have been, like, uh, 
some pretty bad shit for the, uh, like, gun regulation people. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, it was just a story I heard, and it actually made me, I was just really happy, I was like, oh, they talked him down, how nice, you know? You, you really hear about the good side of stuff, but sometimes good things happen. And yeah, the kid didn't shoot people, uh, but is now in prison, so, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll get the help, no, I'm actually absolutely sure he probably won't get the help he needs, because it's the prison system and it sucks everywhere, um, but yeah. Anyway, a bit of a uh, weird aside, but it just popped into my head when I was talking. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was just being like really like ageist and saying that I'm scared of kids because maybe they'll. Have... No, I obviously don't think that. But yeah, but it's just kids yell at stuff. I was a kid. I was a you know. Uh... You, you, you just yell at people and like it's actually kind of intimidating when you're grown up because like there's not nothing you could do, like. Like, if a kid, like, attacked you, what would you do? I guess you can defend yourself, but it's pretty, it's a pretty fine line, because, like, you can't assault a minor, you know? Um, but anyway. <sighs> yeah. I'm sure a lot of you are in high school and are like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah. Um. Okay, more roads. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I don't have a problem with children, really. It's just, like... Mostly annoying because it's loud and it's like, oh, dude, shut up. I'm trying to sleep till two, like two in the afternoon because I'm a functional human. All right, more houses, more people. We got to get that fucking international airport. I need that cathedral. I got to pray, yo. Um, not that I'm actually religious, but still, it's nice to have a cathedral. I enjoy um, churches and cathedrals. I think they look quite, quite nice. Um, yeah. Except I, uh, was at, um, St. Paul's the other day. Actually a while ago, but, like, you have to pay to go in. And I was like, yo, you can't charge. You can't charge people to go into a church. Fuck you! Like, you can ask for donations, but you can't charge people. This is God's house, you motherfucker! You can't do that! You know, Jesus would... Flip is shit. It would be like that fucking market from the awesome part of the Bible times a million. You'd be like, you're making money off my dad? Yo, what the fuck? And so I'm, I'm thinking that we should get Jesus to come down there and sort him out because I wanted to go in. But I think you can go in for free when it's um, like a like a service. But I don't really want to do that because I don't know what I'd do. Like, kind of sit there and sort of sing along and be like, yeah, fuck yeah, God, or whatever. Um, but that's not really something I go in for, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of building the roads where stuff will go, I guess. Um, then I guess this can be a nice little, little bit of a, bit of a break from the, from the grittiness. Yeah, look at that. It's going to be real nice. I know grids are actually really bad for traffic, I just find them really satisfying for some reason. Maybe it's just because I'm like simple, you know, squares. Squares are good. Um, that is a busy road. I could put in another intersection. Yeah, we're going to need another main road down here actually, thinking about it. So maybe I'll expand this now before I, before anything else. Yeah, let's actually, let's do some actual city planning, not just some city flailing and hoping it works. Yeah. I'm a city planner, yo. I should, I should totally become a city planner. I think I'd be great at it, you know? It would like, they'd be asking me about where we should put things. I'm like, okay, okay, first, first things first, where do we put the poor people? And they're like, what? I'm like, where do we put poor people town? And they're like, what are you talking about? It's like, well, the poor people, where are we going to put that? And they're like, dude, you can't say that. And I'm like, oh, fuck you, man. I'm just being pragmatic. I'm not happy about systemic disenfranchisement, but as long as we're doing it, we might as well do it right. And they'll be like, dude, get out. And they'll be like, fuck you. Wow, that was like a whole scene. Well, sometimes I get carried away, and sometimes I, yeah, you know? That was like a one-man play. Ah. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today, <laughs> if it's not super clear. Uh. Anyway. Gotta fill in these burbs as well. Don't worry. It's just so much suburb. It's just so much of it. Um, oh god, this bit looks like hell, but it doesn't matter now. Whew. You guys good? Oh, someone said I should put a train to up here. That's an absolutely... I should do that. 
Um, I don't quite know how I'll get the train line in there. I guess go there, then there, then... Yeah, we'll have to do a bit of finagling, but we'll get it in. You know? It'll be fine. That's... <laughs> That sounded a bit weird. We'll have to do some finagling, but we'll get it in. Hmm. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's just just forget about it. Just be grown-ups about it. You know? Um. Ah, oh, it's not quite straight. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, no. Up. 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 And then just over here. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is how I want to do it. Um, God, look at all this stuff crossing over each other. It's crazy. I'll just, I'll just keep it at, like, level 2 bridge until we're past all of this. Um, do you reckon this power line's important? Nah. No, it's actually not. Um, get rid of that. Um, and then more, more train line. Uh, I'm gonna put it over here. Like, like that. All right, and then I guess I got to curve around this building like that, and then oh fuck, then I got to go down under this power line because this one actually is important. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, and then down, down, and then under. Then I guess I'll have to go up again to get over this bridge. <laughs> right, and then. Oh, Christ, yeah. Up. Up. Space already occupied. I'll have you know it's not. I can go over the bridge. Don't... Damn it. Let me go over the bridge. Oh, you can. Okay, you actually can. Alright. This is gonna be pretty intense, but it will work. <laughs> this is gonna be the... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, there's no control, Z. I, I reach for it, like, instinctively. Um, Jesus. I had a comment the other day on my old City Skyline series, like, uh, she was talking about my, I think my pronunciation of Llama, and it started off just being like, oh, you said Llama wrong and weirdly. I was like, yeah, I know, I, I you know, I don't, I don't pron pronounce things properly. I'm a terrible Brit. But then it went on this, ho this guy went on this whole thing about, I thought you Brits pronounced things perfectly. I thought it was per perfect pronunciation. I thought, it was like, wow, Harbour hate much? Jesus, it's like we don't all just like walk around being assholes about how people pronounce things. It's like fucking way to group people, asshole. Um, <laughs> sometimes I just get really weird comments like that, and yeah, most of the time I don't care. But sometimes, it, sometimes I'm just one of those moods where it's like, fuck you. Anyway, yeah. So, but also like. My accent isn't really English, is it? Is it really anything? It's just sort of... It's just sort of... Oh, fuck, this isn't high enough. This isn't going to take so long. <laughs> it actually shouldn't take long. This should be really easy. It would be easy for a competent person. There we go. We're going to go this high. Awesome. That is perfect. I've never seen anything better. And we're going to keep it this high. <laughs> right over the thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, like I was saying, my, my accent is just a mess of, like, mispronunciations and bastardization of slightly, almost slightly American, but an American wouldn't think that because it's not really. It's just, like, occasionally there'll be, like, a little twinge that sounds, like, more American than English, I guess. Um, where should I put this train station? Oh, hi, DJ. I guess I'll put it in, um, just sort of the middle-ish, like, here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's why my accent sounds weird, because I watched lots of American TV when I was a kid, and it fucked me up. Um, <laughs> Alright, this needs to fit here, yeah, there, and then I've got to just, this train line, go, nailed it, boom. Alright, we finally have a train line, that took probably too long. Whew! But hey, hopefully that will reduce the amount of trucks that need to go out of there and reduce traffic. Look at this beautiful, just beautiful train track. Just look at this. Just ridiculously perfectly done. In every way. Alright, okay. So, more shops we need. Um, kind of filled up the burbs with shops. They've got a whole shop road, it's great. Uh, 
then here I guess just more shops here is fine. I mean this is supposed to just be a massive shopping district. Um, I'm gonna actually though uh, properly district this though because I want some of it not to just be normal shops. Some of it should be leisure, some of it should be hotels. Um, so I'm gonna make this bit hotels actually. Um, and then something else like leisure. Um, so yeah. Uh, this can be hotel, and over here we're gonna have ledger, gonna have fucking clubs and shit, or whatever. Um, okay, like that. There we go. Yeah, all of this will just be ledger. Right, this whole section I'm gonna fill up, and it'll be just fantastic. All right, go crazy. Look at all that getting destroyed. Yo, we're tearing your shops down because they're not the right kinds of shops. We need, like, better stuff. You Get out of here. Go fuck your livelihood. Um, it would be great to have just supreme power over an entire city. Now we're getting some, uh... Buy it all shop. Stratus Hotel. Okay, that's just a shop, though. Well, I guess it's probably, like, a lame tourist shop. Um, tea and Biscuit Cafe are cute. Why does it have a octopus there? Oh, I guess this is Britain, right? So it is a Tea and Biscuit, whatever. Multimedia Center. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some fucking hotels. Hotel Hire. Okay. I guess that is something we say in Britain. Um, Stratus Hotel. Cool. Just general Grand Hotel. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, outlet Shop. Yeah, we have Outlet Shops. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, shop till you drop center, that is something English people say. Kitty cat, kitty cat cafe, I guess, yeah. Night in, that's when you would go there. Ooh, a different tower. Crest, Re Crest Resorts, Home Improvement Center, all right, okay. What are we getting over here? Puckman Arcade, I think these are all just the same, discount sales. Lizzie's karaoke place, yeah, okay. All right. Oh no, it's raining, we're gonna get less power from these. How is our power situation? I should probably get a nuclear power station. I reckon that would help. Um, how, we, we trains? We got trains? Are there any trains? Tr tr trains? Yeah, who knows. And there actually is another train line there, so if I can buy that bit of land, uh, we can make this even better. Um, have you been used? Allow Winter City Train. Well, yeah, man, obviously. Whew, I think we're running out of oil, actually. I think this might not be long for this world. Not enough raw materials. Yeah, that's that's rough. We're going to run out of oil. That's going to be really bad. Until we move over here. Or there. I mean, there's a lot of oil. It's fine. Um, oh, look. It's the uh, little hole I dug for uh, reasons. Mm. Oh, fuck. I left a dam there. Jesus Christ. Luckily, it hasn't been working, apparently. Jesus, fuck, Christ, Jesus, I just left it there, now that could have flooded everything. Look at that, a bit of a, oh my god, oh that was probably a mistake as well, probably shouldn't just destroy a dam, yeah. Man, there's been all kinds of like, ooh, fuck, oh, ooh, that's real bad. Yeah, I was going to say, there's been all kinds of natural disasters in, uh, America recently. It's been like ridiculous. It's been so many. Whoa, what the fuck are these doing here? Why are we pumping stuff out right into the, like, main water supply? How? What? Like, above the pumps? What are we doing? What the fuck? Jesus Christ! How was I that negligent? How are we pumping it downstream? My god, man! <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. People have been just being slightly poisoned for a while. This is like Flint, Michigan up in here. Yeah. Anyway, I was going to say, it's so crazy that like there was like, the massive hurricane in Texas, and then there's like this other hurricane that's kind of wrecked the Caribbean. Um, it's also going to come through like Florida. It's like, wow, just, America really needs a break right now, you know? But uh, yeah, well. Oh, 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 ooh, 
That was a mistake just to delete a dam. You shouldn't do that. Oh my god. Starting to, oh no, we're fine here. This is dug in. We really need flood defenses. Oh, oh my god, we really need flood defenses. Um, you can build flood defenses. Or like sea walls, I think they're called. Terrain. Yo, I need a flood defense. What's that? That's a key. That's a flood wall. Yeah, I really should have done this a while ago. The oil's the most important thing in the world. Uh, cannot build on water. Well, that's fucking great. I need to build on water. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do now. You have to preempt these things. Jesus Christ, though. That's intense. That is, that is flooding the whole thing. Don't just delete dams, people. Think about what you do before you do it. Anyway, let's, let's three times this so we can get through this whole flooding thing. Yeah, that oil's gonna be mad watery. Oh, look at that. There's like a whole swell that's like missing. Oh, well guys, I think we're fine now. Oh no, it's left water there. Not a lot I can do about that. Sorry, buddy. I've really got to stop leaving dams places. <laughs> I am going to put up a flood wall just in case I ever fuck up again. Um, can I make it higher? No. Yeah. Okay. Water, you're kind of in the way of me blocking you, buddy. God, water's such an asshole. Could you move water, please? God, way to be a dick about it. Um... Yeah, there's not actually a ton of space for a flood wall. Oh, and the water's rising again. Oh, God, it's so turbulent. You know what? We'll come back to this. Talking to which, talking to water and stuff, I don't really know where I want my canals. Maybe the canal should be here. Maybe that's what... No, because that's right next to them, by the way. That's just going to get too busy. I reckon I'll put it over here somewhere. But what I need is... Uh, still like 8,000 more people. We haven't done a lot of increasing the amount of people yet, which is really annoying. Um... Need more industry. I guess we'll go for ore. We're running out of oil over there, and we probably shouldn't keep putting it right next to my crazy river. Um, okay, I think things have settled. I want to put up a flood wall. Okay, water's a problem. Oh, it's yeah, it started to flood the main bit now. That's not good. The big oil bit. There we go. That's a nice flood wall. That'll keep the flood out. This bit's a bit fucked because I can't really do much about it, but whatever. Um, roads in the way. That's annoying. Huh. I might have to cut that off a bit. And now uh, this flood wall's fairly superfluous because it's not going to happen again. I'll leave that bit there, but someone died in the flood, I think. Uh, yeah, it would seem like it. Um, oh, yeah, we need a. Uh, fucking one of these over here. People can die in oil fields, turns out. So if we just put that there, pick up the dead people. Cremate them before they get home. Um, yeah, how's the water? Still there? Draining, though, mostly? There's not enough buyers for these goods. Well, we've got a train now, though. How many trains have you served last week? That's a, not a cargo train station. That's the problem. That's just, a, that's just a people train station. No one wants to come to the... Fuck. Yeah, yeah, okay, that was an oversight. Oh, and this is way bigger. Shit. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to move this oil plant to here. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely should have put the right one of these in here. We'll get you more buys, because now we got trains. I mean, yeah, I also flooded you, but you weren't working hard enough. You know, you weren't producing enough oil. You're getting another surge, by the way. More water's coming up. Really should have put those flood defenses in. Oh, wow. When did the water get this high? How does it... Well, it really has a knock-on effect. Do you reckon... Maybe that uh, that's got to be the water source. That's not just, like, somewhere all the water backed up into, is it? No, okay, that is the water source. Oh, good. I thought maybe I'd like... I probably have created basically just a giant dam back there, though. Maybe if I cut off a bit of this, it won't 
Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lower this a bit so that it stops like flooding into here because it won't be harshly turning as much. Um, I imagine water like cars, you know. It's solving traffic, but for water, you know, it's 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 even better. It's it's what I'm best at. Not that I've solved a lot of traffic problems, but the other day I did solve a traffic problem. So, I mean, your move, atheists. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, all right, there we go. Let's get. We're gonna need a little better. We're gonna need. We're gonna, yeah. Yeah. Let's just sink this down. You know, we'll cut off this whole bit of land. It'll be so much easier for you to just swing around, not flood my oil plants, the most important things to me. Um, other than poor people town, I love poor people town. It's my greatest creation. It's my greatest innovation. Um, and why not just uh, dump some of the soil here? Fucking make some flood defenses out of soil. Um, raise this up, put a wall on it. Because, you know, turns out I make a lot of bad decisions that often flood entire districts of my city, including the main moneymaker. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Okay. Alright, okay, so then maybe I can put a flood fence in now. Is that a possibility? Can I build on water? Can I build on land? Because that's land! Okay, we need to raise this land up more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to put in a temporary one until all of this water stuff is fixed. Uh, I'm just going to lift, raise this land like a whole bunch, like a really small amount. Just like, just basically a, a, my own, you know, seawall. Just, just, just built out of land instead of wall. Yeah, you're not getting in here, water, because now we got a little, uh, little mountain range up here. This is one of the best bits of the game. It's just messing with water. <laughs> Um, like they didn't even really have to put it in to make this an amazing game, but it just made it so much better that they did. Um, yeah, this will be temporary. Um, I just, yeah, I, I really fucked up somehow. You know, I put a dam in, left it for an entire episode, then just deleted it willy-nilly with no preparations to defend against the flooding. But now, we good. Look at that. Perfect. Ha! <sighs> it's gone through. How did it get through? There's land here. You can't just get through land. I mean, I know there's a bit of a hole, but... You know what, I reckon that is it. Jesus, how is it getting worse? We're just going to make this all out of land. Because clearly that little gap was being a big problem. Okay. Now... Fuck off, water. I guess now it, it'll drain out. Okay. Whew. Think I may have averted the crisis. Could could have. Could maybe not. I mean, honestly, who knows? Jesus. Don't just willy-nilly put dams in and then delete them. That's the lesson we've learned today. Water is dangerous. Um... How are you doing? You're not getting flooded? Oh, you can see that when it was up there, it really was, like, up against that cliff. But luckily we have that cliff there. Someone prepared for my stupidity. Whew. How you doing, water? You draining out? Can you fuck off now? No? Alright. How, how's the train doing, though? Yeah, 53%. It's, it's, got, it's got stuff on it. Okay, we need more houses. Um, yeah. Oh, also, like, as I was talking about the thing, uh, the, uh, the, 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 like, natural disasters in America, um, like, I've heard a lot of people are just, like, sort of staying in Florida, just like, oh, we'll ride out the storm, but really don't, because, like, don't ride out the storm. Leave for a bit. Uh, <laughs> it's like, if you know anyone in Florida who's, like, like, oh, we can ride out the storm, we're Floridians. It's like, okay, but that doesn't mean anything. Like, that doesn't make you stormproof because you're from Florida. Like, oh, man, we're, too, we're tough, we're from Florida. It's like, okay, kind of, but like, yeah, that, that's great and all, but that doesn't make you stormproof. So, yeah, like I say, if you know anyone who's like, thinks that they can stay in Florida, or if you think you can stay in Florida and ride out a storm, don't, because, you know, you're gonna, you, you could die, like, 
all your state pride, you know, is it going to protect you from death? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that is my personal, uh, my my public, my PSA to Florida: get the fuck out, because there's a, there's a storm coming. Um, uh, this is just going to sit here. I think I've destroyed this entire district. I think I've ruined, ruined oil. God, we thought it would be around forever. Ah, it's the, the, the water levels rose because we burned too much oil. <laughs> hey, it's climate change! <laughs> the water levels rose and flood the oil fields, I love it. Obviously, it's not climate change, it's an act of God. Well, an act of tape, but what's the difference? Am I right? Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I mean, that's funny. I might, I'll try and fix that next time, but uh, it is the end of the episode. If you're in Florida, get the fuck out, because there's a storm coming. Um, if you're in Canville, don't go in the oil fields. And I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been uh, episode whatever of City Skylines Mass Transit. I'll see you next time.